Well, if there were ever a time, perhaps, to be more flexible about where to go on vacation, it might be right now. And if you are trying to snag a good deal, we have travel expert Davy Sutton joining us now. Thank you so much for your time. And Davy, are you seeing any destinations in particular that are a little cheaper than others right now? Yeah, you know, what a, a big trend this summer is that people are ready to socialize again. So vacationers are hanging out in big cities and cities offer the culture, the dining experiences and for the 4th of July, it's a great place to see the fireworks. So the most affordable places um, are all under $155 per night for hotels. And domestically, that's Dallas, Texas, Houston, Texas, and Bloomington, Minnesota. All right, a Texas trip might be coming up. Nice. Well, Davey, you have a very specific tip to find a great deal online. What do you suggest we do? Yeah. You know, the best way to save on travel is to be flexible, as you mentioned, on where and when you can go. Most of us don't have that much flexibility when we can travel, but if you can book what's on sale versus holding out for that destination that's on your list, be flexible, then you can see the deal. So there's a tool I like to use on Priceline called Express Deals, and that's where you can save up to 60% on hotels, up to 50% on flights, up to 40% on rental cars. Yes, even during this time. Um, and I'll walk you through it real quick. If you choose a hotel location, you can pick the star rating, three, four, five stars, amenities like the pool, free breakfast, and then Priceline will find the best match for you. You just have to wait to know what hotel brand it is, and you'll find that out after you uh, after your book. And unless you're loyal to like one hotel brand, you've already picked all the elements for what you like. And so this is how you could still save when prices are surged during this time. Oh, that's interesting. So a little bit of faith, a little bit of suspense on finding out the name of the hotel, but you might get a great deal. Well, what about any tips for locations that make it feel like you're going abroad, but you're still actually here in the US? You know, um, some of those destinations are what we call like drive through markets and drive through towns and second cities, right? Um, so I talked about big cities being a big trend this summer, um, but a lot of people are sticking closer to home. Like we just heard in that report, people were taking alternative ways. So taking sticking closer to home, taking shorter trips. Um, and as jet fuel prices rise, the cost of plane tickets have also begun to increase. Um, so rising fuel costs are, have factored into what people are making decisions now on where to, where to go. So maybe not that big city, but the town next to it. Let's say you wanted to hang out on a lake instead of going to Chicago, you can go to one of the towns in Indiana. Nice. We're almost out of time, but really quickly, if you've been too busy to book your summer vacation or you're procrastinating, is it too late or what is your advice there? So it might not be too late. You just have to be flexible. I'm going back to being flexible, but maybe consider uh, driving or we've talked about taking a, a trip. Um, a, account for delays, um, all of that. And so it, it really is a tricky time to, to travel. If you find something that you like, just book it right then. Don't expect the prices to drop because the industry doesn't expect the prices to drop until through the at least past um, Labor Day. Yeah, these, uh, these times not rewarding the procrastinators among us. Davey Sutton, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.